All right, so this language is a language of form and function. So just like the English language is a language of words and sentences, you know, math is a language of numbers and equations. You know, uh, music is a, is a language of rhythms and melodies. You know, this language of the mind is the language of form and function. What is the form and how did, what is the function of that form? And how does the consciousness function the same way? You know, how does the mind function the same way? So here's two of the three symbols or two of the symbols we had in the last one and then another one. So car, car is the form. What is the function? It is the vehicle that we use to reach our goals. And then you have the road. Or I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> I, I started thinking, I'll wait, did I record this? Let me make sure. And then I recalled the memory of hearing that voice. Uh, so anyways, car. What is a car? It's the vehicle we use to reach our goals. And so how does that relate to the consciousness? The, our physical bodies is the vehicle that our consciousness uses to reach our goals here in this physical reality. So anytime a car shows up in a dream, it's going to represent your physical body or your physical life. Um, so like uh, if you have a dream of a car, any anytime you have a dream of a car crash, that's definitely like, hey, pay attention to your health, something's going on. Uh, like for example, the last, last any kind of type of car crash dream I had, it's really last time I was sick, um, it was like three years ago. And at the time I was going to the gym all the time i was i was going to the gym and playing soccer i was playing soccer one day a week and going to the gym like four days a week and the people in my household they, they were all getting sick and i never get sick so i wasn't really worried about it but in the dream and this one this one really confused me <laughs> i didn't really i wasn't able to interpret it till, till it was too late <laughs> because you know normally a typical car crash i could figure it out but um in this one i'm driving this truck and the entire truck just like breaks apart into pieces like like into blocks and cubes to where like you know you have this it, it all just like breaks apart it breaks it's really weird just like all broke down and you had like all over the street as if as if the car suddenly turned into legos and crashed on the ground that's what it was like that's the best way to describe it it just broke into like little blocks and cubes that were laying all over and i picked up trash bags and, you know i grabbed the steering wheel put it in a trash bag grab the seat put it in a trash bag and did all this stuff and all this other stuff was going on. And when I woke up, you know, I, I interpreted the rest of the dream and I tried to use that to assess what it meant. Like really just the breaking apart into different pieces is what really confused me. And I really wanted to figure it out because <laughs> I didn't want to get sick. I didn't know what it was, what kind of ailment it was. And I tried, you know, I reached out to a couple other people and they were like, they were stumped too. But then I got sick <laughs> and I caught the same, you know, virus. It was a little flu virus. It was before Corona, it was, uh, COVID or anything, so it wasn't that. But um, but it was just you know regular flu. You know, I I never got I've, I've had the flu like one other time in my life. I never get sick or anything. It's weird. So when I got that, like the very first day, I'm laying there in bed, you know, just relaxing, recovering, and it hit me. Oh my god, you know, because I was like, I never get sick. That's why I got sick. I was breaking my body down because I was you know working out all the time, all the time. And I was breaking my body down and my dream was trying to tell me, hey, if you continue breaking your body down, then it then you won't have the normal defenses from your immune system to fight off this, you know, flu that's right in your right in your face every day, all day. And so and unfortunately, it was afterwards that I figured it out. But anyways, I was saying all of that just to say if there's a car crash in your dream, pay, pay the fuck attention. <laughs> You know, if, if you don't understand it, then, you know, reach out to me and, and I'll help you understand it as fast as I can um, so that you can, you know, keep from being sick. Because if I would have understood it the way in the way that um, I understood it afterwards, when I had the dream, when I woke up, then I wouldn't have went to the gym the next three days in a row. And I would have, you know, let my body recover. I would have taken more, um, you know, uh, uh, immunity building things like a some colloidal silver and stuff like that, some moringa and bladder rack and sea moss. But any, anyways, I didn't do that. I got sick. So on to the next one, the road. The road is the form. And how does the road function? The, the, or the function of the road is to give us a path in order to reach our destination, reach our goals. So how does that relate to the consciousness? The path that we are on to reach our goals is our life path, you know, in, in this life, that, that our vehicle 
the path that our vehicle uses to reach our goals. So our light, our path in life. And so uh, light, light is another one. What is the function of light? light? Light allows us to be aware of our surroundings. So light in a dream will represent awareness, you know, because that's how that function applies to consciousness. Well, awareness, you know, your conscious awareness, your subconscious awareness, your super conscious awareness. Light is going to represent awareness. The more light you have, the more aware you are. The less light there is, the less aware you are. So if it's dark in a dream, then that's giving you insight into something you're unaware of. You know, that's another value of the dreams. Like I talked about last week, they are in the subconscious mind. So they are, um, you know, subconscious mind never sleeps. Subconscious mind knows everything you know and knows things you don't know. So like this, it can give you a dream and insight into what you are unaware of. And you're like, oh, wow, I wasn't aware I used my mind like that. Oh, wow. I wasn't aware that that belief was in the back of my mind running all this time. And, and now I'm, you know, I wake up and I'm getting attacked by a bear in, in, in at night, you know, so I wasn't aware that this bear was attacking me. 